When I woke up this morning, I had one nerve left. <laughs> and you're getting on it. <laughs> what up guys, it is DJ Barbecue. I got a confession for you. Before I came over to England and Europe, uh, I never had a scotch egg. Never even knew what it was, but my kids got me into them. And now I'm gonna teach you guys my version of the classic scotch egg. Okay, so first off, we're gonna boil these bad boys. Now, there's two different scotch eggs, really. If you wanna eat them fresh, you want that kind of runny yolk. Uh, if you're gonna save them for later, because we give them to our kids at school and stuff, you want a solid yolk. So for runny yolk, we're gonna do four minutes to four and a half. Got some salty water here. As soon as the eggs are done, you run them under cold water. And now it's the turn of the sausage meat. So our flavorings in the sausage meat are gonna be fresh rosemary, chop it up. And now I got two little cloves of garlic and chop them nice and fine. Oh man, my wife saw me doing this, she freaked out. There we go, right? We're gonna add our garlic into there. We're gonna add some of that finely chopped rosemary and then I've got some sage. Come on, sage, get in there. So we're gonna crack some pepper, and then I'm gonna throw a little bit of ground nutmeg in here. Ooh, nutmeg. And then let's mix it all up. Oh yeah, here we go. That is properly seasoned sausage meat. It's now time to do the meat blanket. We're gonna start with some grease-proof paper. I'm gonna grab some plastic wrap, because otherwise it gets really sticky on your hands. Okay, so you just kinda push it into a little blanket. There's one. Meat blanket number two. Yes, okay. And there we have four meat blankets done. It's now time to wrap our eggs and pan it. I'm gonna wrap it all around our lovely egg. Yeah. Egg one is done. It's like a planet that I can't wait to feast upon. <laughs> all right, now we pan it. we we'll start with flour and I've got some uh, smoked paprika, some salt, some pepper in the flour to season it. Then we've got three eggs, with some milk, and I whisk that up, that's our egg wash, and then we've got our breadcrumbs. So in this pan, I've got panko, which are Japanese breadcrumbs, beautiful, and then I've got just normal um, breadcrumbs. So we're gonna do two Japanese scotch eggs and one English, sorry, scotch, scotch egg. So we take our sausage ball, and then we put it in the egg wash. And then, whoops, make sure I get it all in there. And then we're gonna put it into the panko. Make sure it's all rocking. So we've got <laughs> two um, of our uh, scotch eggs with breadcrumbs and two with the panko, the Japanese breadcrumbs. We're gonna throw them into the deep fat fryer until they go golden brown. The so scotch eggs are nice and golden and brown. Um, you can also finish them off in the oven for the five to eight minutes to make sure they're cooked all the way through. So let's get these bad boys. So this is one of the panko scotch eggs, and this is the normal breadcrumbs. Oh man, they smell phenomenal. They smell so good. Okay. Let's dig in. There we go. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Oh. They smell phenomenal. You can, you can smell the, the, the sage, the garlic, the, that a little bit of nutmeg in there. Oh gosh. I want to thank my kids for turning me on to Scotch eggs. You guys are awesome. Mm. Breakfast, lunch, 
dinner, snack. That thing is perfect. I'm DJ Barbecue. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. There's a button on that side for me, and there's a button on that side for food too. And down there, you can comment, like, share, get involved, tell me what's up. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. What up, y'all? It is DJ Barbecue, and today I'm gonna show you how to make McDonald's French fries. So we got a potato. I got a Maris Piter potato, and you want a really sharp knife. This